This is Twit. Safari, Safari, I'm stunned to read this, leads in mobile web traffic. Not desktop, of course, but mobile web traffic, even beating Chrome, which is the default uh, browser on Android. Uh, and and even beating Facebook, although Facebook is gaining on Chrome. <laughs> it's the three top three browsers on mobile are Safari, Chrome, Facebook, and Facebook's about to go to number two. Uh, this comes from Mixed well, I think Panel. That, I, think, I think a lot of that has to do with, I don't know very many Apple or iPhone users that use anything other than Safari. You don't have really much you know, of a choice. You, it's always the default, right? So... It's, well, it's the default, and it's also just you just don't think about it. It's so tied it, into everything that Apple does. It's the same way, like, I still use Google Maps, but, you know, the vast majority of iPhone users just use Apple Maps because that's what came with it, and when they click on it, it takes them to that link, and that's the power of the, of yeah, the platform. The, 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 or the tyranny of the default is sometimes the Are same. they smart right. enough to know to separate out browsers that present as Safari? I hope yeah. they are because you're right. A lot of browsers, you know, you there's a... Uh, uh, like Safari uh, presents as Mozilla as a backup. But user, a lot of the yeah, yeah. There's a user <laughs> agent string that when queried, the browser actually doesn't even have to be queried. The browser actually sends as part of the packet. And it can say anything. And as you point out, <laughs> sometimes it says the wrong thing. So uh, I w that may be the only information they have. I don't know. They do mm -hmm. say, mix, this is all again mixed panel. They, the current split of phones in the U.S., this is also fascinating, 65% iOS 35% Android. It's actually 65 and a half to 34 and a half. So if I add those together, that's, there is point, <laughs> I don't, actually this is, that's 100.101%. So I think there's no room for third party <laughs> devices. The mobile <laughs> market is dominated by, uh, by iOS, 65.5%. In the US of A. In the US. Yeah. It's completely, it's Very actually different. flipped in the rest of the world. But uh, yeah, in the U.S., yeah. I mean, one of the so one of the metrics I think is usually better is the amount of e-commerce transactions that go through Safari. I think those are usually inordinately high as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. Apple people buy more stuff, right? Yeah, that's I mean, always been the story. You have to take all. You have to take all. Uh, nobody knows except for Apple and Google, and they don't really tell us that those fine-grained numbers. All you can do is take a bunch of different people feeling up different parts of the elephant to try to get a clear picture of what the animal looks like. It would be yeah. totally possible uh, for a website to ask more than just the user agent string to determine if it was Safari. Totally. Yeah. So yeah. I'm We're hoping this panel is being smarter and, do, and doing it right. I imagine they are, but I don't know.